animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. McCoy LPD. I'm absolutely certain Mr. Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Colby an exquisite Percheron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old, with pink hair, a very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from old movies in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very terrible wholesaler. Treat her well? As well as any young talk should be treated. She had a desk, or someplace where she worked. She used to eat over there. I'm ruined! Totally ruined! Clovis wanted Runciter to suffer, but I wanted him dead. If there was a hell, maybe we both got what we wanted. Something about the bastard made my flesh crawl. I'd done the city a favor, and maybe I'd done him a favor too, since his animals were all dead. Clovis wanted Runciter to suffer, but I wanted him dead. If there was a hell, maybe we both got what we wanted. I'd admit Candy bar. Yuck. How we leave in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Hmm. A toy dog. Well, isn't that cute? It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Find anything else out here? Zilko. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it.
I'd like you to take. 